what a pleasure to be offered the Medal for the Humanities. And, and for in my case, because I work on the history of Christianity and the secret gospels that were found thousands of years ago, many people say, well, uh, you're a theologian, aren't you? And I want to say, no, theologians talk about God. I talk about people. I talk about human traditions. These are, this is the humanities. And, and my colleagues also talk about Buddhism, Japanese Buddhism, Tibetan, Chinese Buddhism, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, uh, and of course Christianity. And the, one of the primary things that I love about our field is that it talks about how people interpret meaning in their lives. It talks about how they find meaning in huge political events and in, and in the private events that change everything for us individually and as families. Also, studying the histories of religions makes us really aware that all religions do not say the same thing. They're really very different. They're cultural languages. They're as different as, as Swahili and, and Chinese and, and Spanish. Um, and what it shows, I wish it could be taught, especially in, say, fifth grade, fourth grade, sixth grade schools, because if you teach about Islam and Buddhism and Hinduism and Judaism and Christianity, you're talking about whole systems of cultural values, each of them with a huge range that's been collected for thousands of years, but which have an enormous impact on the way people see the world and see it quite differently. And that way we could begin to understand other cultures much better.